previously on Queer Ghost Hunters. We suspected there would be lesbian nuns here. If any of you would like to join us in the car now, you can come with us. I very clearly just saw something pass through there. We found lots of lesbians. But Kai seemed off. It was, it was just a growing rage. <laughs> This morning, one of the queer ghost hunters is filled with anger. The team suspects a dark entity transferred her rage into Kai. Just want to hurt something. It was his first attempt at contacting a queer ghost. You know, when I started ghost hunting with you guys, I've, I've always been scared to make contact, but this is the first time I really tried to reach out to someone I thought I could connect with. You know, I'm trans and in the middle of all of that stuff. So it's kind of harder to reach out. It's 12 hours earlier and Kai is reaching out. A ghost is about to reach back. There's one notorious angry nun at this convent in the theater. Historically speaking, it looks like it, it was one of the mother superiors known as being angry and toxic and evil and throws things at people. She does it from where she sits in the balcony. She's been described to us as angry and hate-filled, uh, but we don't believe that. So we'd like to talk with you and maybe you would help us tell your story because we think you're misunderstood. We truly don't think you're angry and hate-filled. Did you bring your thing to read? Yeah, I did. Kai, as soon as he knew about this angry nun, he felt really connected. Well, I understand anger and, you know, just holding on to things. And maybe I could try to connect that way. Recording. Here we're all going to introduce us again. Katie, would you like to? Kai attempts relating to the dead nun. It's not a good feeling. I, so I use that anger to push people away, glaring at them. And is there someone up there? Is someone up in the corner? I just saw something. Walking through. Hey was drawn to sit up there. This is the first time I've ever reached out to anyone. We thought, wow, that's great to reach out to her. Um, probably no one ever has before. And then there was just a transformation that came over him. It was, it was just a growing rage and I don't know where it came from, you know? And where you are, it probably feels like eternity. I'd heard of like things like that before, like transference, where an entity would transfer their emotions to others. I'd heard about that. And Kai had really made himself open by reaching out to her and saying, I understand your rage, I understand your pain, I understand your anger. And she's like, okay, if you understand, here you go. He doesn't give in to the rage that the angry nun is transferring into him. Such ugly hatred. He conceals his growing rage. We're right here with you, don't worry. But he can no longer hide his fear. Let's go tell them. I'm going to 
if that's you. It's, it's scary. Don't be scared. Other team members now watch from the balcony, but they keep a distance. I've never felt something negative that's really just made me scared um, or want to run. It really was the scariest part of the evening, no joke. And I just kept getting that sense of something over my shoulder, like a row or two behind me. Um, and I looked over and sure enough, I saw something and that's when I just politely got up and walked away. <laughs> Whatever he saw remains unexplained. Closer inspection of the shadow on the wall reveals that it is most likely of a videographer. But the one question that no one can answer is how much more anger and fear the ghost can transfer into Kai. I mean, you know harm. And then I was like, I have to get out of here. It's like telling me just to leave. He's like, I don't, you know. It, the feeling got stronger to be pulled toward the hallway, separating me from the group. You feel like you're being pulled, you're being tugged, you're just... She wanted me to go down there. Toward the artwork. Collingwood was a convent for more than 80 years, but now it's an art space. Kai believes the ghost is using emotions as a way to communicate how unhappy the art makes her. She showed me, she showed me. She was just angry with the atmosphere and what was being brought there. She feels like her home is being desecrated by all this artwork. It was like paintings of just evil things. It could be perceived as evil to someone who's a nun, you know what I mean? Maybe not coincidentally, it is also the LGBTQ Community Center in Toledo now, a pride center. As soon as I saw all that artwork, then she left. I felt like closure. Kai will eventually recover, but he will sit out the next investigation so it doesn't interfere with his Reiki class. I think it's a warning that we need to really be careful with these interactions, and I, I definitely have no empathy left for the angry nun. The ghost took advantage of him. But Kai's risk appears to be worth it. The team leaves Collingwood Art Center, bringing back groundbreaking discoveries about queer entities. And they are bringing back something else. <laughs>